Our work here is an unsupervised registration of 3D point clouds coming from HoloLens to 2D CAD models. A case study of here is floor plan. For almost all buildings all over the board, 2D CAD models are available. These models can be used to automatically conduct 2D scanners to navigate through a building. This work has a wide range of applications like helping blind people to navigate through buildings without any problems. In order to use 2D CAD models as a complementary source for HoloLens, we need to do registration between these two different spaces. Actually, point clouds to CAD registration is a convoluted process due to different modalities these two spaces have different dimensions. Uh, these two spaces have a partial nature of uh, data sets. Uh, to be in more specific, uh, the modality of CAD is uh, semantic information, semantic kind of information, while the modality of point clouds uh, is height information and regarding the dimension point clouds uh, are 3D while CAD models are uh, 2D. Uh, to address the above mentioned problems here uh, in this study a label based 3D step registration method uh, between point clouds and CAD models are um, is presented. The first step of uh, this method is, uh, uh, is to binarize uh, image coming from CAD models and uh, point clouds. The second step is finding correspondences between these two binary images. And finally, based on uh, the correspondences coming from the second stage, we can find uh, parameters of a well-known 2D to 3D transformer, namely affine transformation. And based on that, we can relate these two different spaces to... Uh, as you can see here, as an overview, at the first stage, uh, binary images are generated for each CAD models and uh, point clouds coming from HoloLens. At the second stage, as you can see, at the left corner of each binary image, correspondences uh, can be found based on the nature of uh, floor plan. I mean here the circumvent uh, the complex uh, process of matching between these two different spaces. And finally, after uh, these correspondences, you can see here with uh, similar uh, colors, uh, we can find eight parameters, and finding these eight parameters is equivalent to uh, the registration. Okay, to be more specific, uh, to generate binary image for CAD models, we don't have any problems because we can do that based on the legend we have from them. We can say why, uh, while pixels get one while the rest uh, get zero. And by doing this, we can make our colors. On the other hand, uh, since our HoloLens is equipped to a program, it can provide us with a segmentation label. Uh, we can go for uh, wall pixels and non-wall pixels, and as a result of that, we can uh, generate uh, binary image from point close. It's worth mentioning that in point clouds, we can uh, uh, go for a 2D image instead of working 2D CAD models because the high of points can be considered uh, nearly the same. 
Okay, at the second stage, uh, we have we have used of the standing features of the floor plan to circumvent complex matching between these two spaces. Notable features of a floor plan are uh, its corridors, which are detected here based on the intersection of white lines walls. And as you can see here, uh, the the green point on the left image is corresponding to that of on the right image. And finally, uh, based on these correspondences, we can go for estimating the parameters. Here are A1 to A8. You can see in the formula one and in formula one x prime and y prime are uh, coordinates of chat models and on the other hand x y z are corresponding coordinates of x prime and y prime in uh, uh, 3d point clouds after uh, finding the parameters, we can go from one space to the other space, or in better words, uh, we have done a registration. As you can see here, the proposed method led to much better results than manual registration, unlike what uh, we thought. The reason for this is that here, because of different modalities of uh, two spaces, selecting uh, uh, points, collecting corresponding points is so hard, tedious, and uh, is accompanied with uh, lots of errors. And as a result, the parameters uh, estimating based on these manually selected control points uh, are uh, contaminated with errors and we cannot get reasonable results. Please take a look at the right image uh, where the result of registration is not good at all. On the other hand, on the left image, you can see the results of our proposed method where uh, we can do registration in the best uh, way because the points, uh, correspondences, I mean, are selected uh, automatically. Okay, here through uh, outstanding features of a floor plan, point clouds, and CAD models are registered related to each other. Here, instead of working between two uh, spaces with two different dimensions, we decided to select uh, the same dimension, I mean 2D image. Unlike manual registration, automatic registration leads to much better results because co collecting correspondences between two different space, spaces is accompanied by difficulty. The proposed method works well in case of the existence of corridors. This fact restricts the generality of the algorithm and must be addressed in our future study. Thank you.